Hello everybody and welcome to the final of Blitz Pit number 8. We started off with a rock to a skink, which stuns it. Um, I'm Jimmy Fantastic, with me is Trific at Rick Reckless and Skura Metzo, who, has a, who I believe is AFK, so it's going to be a slightly worse introduction without him. <laughs> We've got Rego and Andy Devo. Rego has won every single game, including beating Andy Devo before in the uh, winner's final. Devo has come through after that, he won the uh, loser's final. And now, uh, so because Rego hasn't lost a match, his advantage is choosing the whether to kick or defend. He chose to defend, uh, kick or receive, he chose to kick. Um, <laughs> you know, to help oh. against the one turn and stuff, probably. And help. Did fending worse? I think lizards tend to be like just brutal on defense. He has used the instant power up all there. I think that's a good decision to not get taken down players. Um, and there you go. Anyone else want to say anything? Yeah, yeah I, I am here. Oh, I was yeah. muted the entire time, but I am back. And uh, yeah, what else can be said? Two teams, they've both been through marathons to get to this point. 500 ish US dollars are on the line for the winner. But the uh, loser will get a nice little, uh, nice little payoff too. This is uh, one of the biggest and best tournaments you'll ever see in Blood Bowl Two or in Blood Bowl Tabletop. Some of the top talents. This is an exclusive invitational, and we have spent weeks and almost months leading up to this moment. Your final two, Andy Davo with hashtag Kisslev for Justice, uh, the uh, High Elf team. And uh, Regor, whose team name I have already forgotten because it's not immediately on my screen. <laughs> and uh, starting off with a uh, pretty bad spot here, getting... Uh, oh, no, he ended up appoing it, so he's got his source on the board. But uh, Devo on offense, let's see what he's got. Yeah, not to mention you uh, fucked up Andy's name as well. The, uh, the team that lost in the, uh, in the winner's bracket final come back and then beat that same team in the main final, so uh, Andy won't be discouraged here, and, and definitely not, as you said, with the Apo use. Any chip on Asaurus now is absolutely massive. Now what's, what's semi-crucial here is that Devo's tackler is on wrestle, isn't it? So it's not it's not a good uh, skin hunting piece. Any any block player, well he's only got two, but the block players are just as good as hitting the skinks. Um, and that stun has meant that he can't protect the skinks very well, so he might, he might have a little go at the skinks here. So on the tackle together, Andy will go for the advanced strategy of just killing all of the Saurus. Yes, well he certainly started with that, didn't he? <laughs> Try as, as a lizard expert, uh, it seems really relevant now. Do you like the skink bench? Because you don't always see that in lizard builds in NAF style. I didn't go for it, but in, I guess in overtime format it could come into play. It's... Mm, yeah, overtime Yeah, might make it so uh, more valuable. The cost is the third reroll, so he could get the third reroll. Yeah, that's and true. <laughs> that's, without that's sure hands, it's pretty big against elves. We saw that last game; he kind of burned his rerolls pretty quick. Yeah, yeah the Andy's in here being, fighting, right in the middle. Yeah, the crocs being quite the quite magnet here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, with, with the apothecary gone, don't even hate it. Like if the elves do get a chip, it's just so ridiculously big. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean it's hard to beat the same the same person twice, isn't it? Like it's not exactly like it doesn't make Gregor a favor or anything that he's won once. It's uh, yeah, so he does get the rackle hit. The, the rackler hits the skink. Uh, proving Reddit right with that instant cast. The only person who can easily beat another person <laughs> twice is uh, Space Cadet and Jimmy versus Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is very true. I am that one. Oh dear. Can easily beat him about seven times out of ten. In fact. <laughs> Hello, PC in chat. Yes, this is a... Uh... No, I think Mighty Blow would have been kind of pointless. He's got Mighty Blow on the Crocs if he wants to 
you know, make a mighty blow blitz. If he wants to make an attrition blitz, he can rely on the crocs. Um, no mighty blow makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's got guard and tackle, like, it's fair enough, isn't it? I think, if anything, it's the block on the source that, uh, uh, the block on the, yeah, the block on the crocs is a bit, you know, maybe, I don't know, did try, did you, you had stand firm on yours, didn't you? On the crocs, yeah. yeah. I hated that. <laughs> uh, against elves, I would like it. Against lizard mirrors, I prefer the block guard, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the stand firm could be okay against elves. It can you just put him in and forget about him. Yeah. And also, I obviously fantastic against the one turn. Yeah. Because it's he has only so many abilities he can give out, and spending them on skinks is a waste. Yeah. Because it costs some guard or block. Yeah, exactly. I would have rather just seen the block with crocs and an extra guard. Saurus, to be honest. But, I mean, it's not like blocks bad on the crocs, is it? A blocksy go. Everyone seems. Everyone else seems to get one of those. <laughs> oh, glorious PC. Yeah, the sure hand skink's alright, or a block skink, but it's the fact that you're taken away. From a Saurus skill, isn't it? Is the is the thing. And Saurus is what wins you and loses you the games most of the time. Did you play in Blitzpit when you had one, KLZ? I don't know. I don't remember if you did or not. Oh, what's ECL? Yeah, because taking uh, taking dive and tackle, <laughs> skinks and blitz pit would be a full PS3 strat. <laughs> oh, does he eat this? Nope. He does not. It's not too bad in the first half, is it? Putting in the in the reroll there. I think it'd be Forced better putting in the three dice. Turn, preferably. I think putting in the three dice up and eating it would have been better. Uh, because now, if he wants to one turn, he's got no rerolls for the rest of the half. Well, you can uh, you can dream big, Kales Eddie, because we've got Blitz Pit Finals and we've got the uh, Xbox exclusive coach, as Jimmy calls it, uh, <laughs> showing up and uh, rolling with his lizards right now. He, he, he comes from the Xbox world, right, Jim? Yeah, yeah. Regor is is apparently just massive in the Xbox scene. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else on Earth knows that, but he is a... He's a Qualified at 2 0 <laughs> For every CPL game he's ever played. That's just, that's, just, that's just a vanity record in Xbox. You only need 0, zero 1 to game. Oh, so, we see a foul, we are. <laughs> I would have liked that more on the wrestle tackle... Uh, you know, the wrestle tackle catcher than just a rando wrestle line over, but fair enough. I don't. I don't like it at all. No. no, I didn't like it on the Rando lineman. In fact, I hate it on the Rando lineman. But if it had <laughs> yeah, been, I hate it as well. <laughs> <laughs> if it had been on, the, if it had been on one of the Blitzers or the Rackler or even the Rog catcher, you know, at least on one of the on one of his high value guys, then it's also just weirdly inconsistent because he had the same value. He had the same foul available last time, but he didn't take it. So I'm not sure what changed mm. to make it a worthwhile foul now if it wasn't before. Maybe a bit yeah, too. Jim was just memeing on the Xbox thing today, Nick, from the first quali or second qualifiers <laughs> with Regor, because he yeah. thought he thought he, he he was a different person from the Xbox. Yes. CCL. Yeah, the name rang a bell, and I thought it was Xbox, but it, it wasn't. As, <laughs> yeah. as Tom Schnitz clarified <laughs> to me that it wasn't. Do you though? Killed by propaganda? Do you? <laughs> In fairness, the bad players on uh, PC are also really bad. Gales, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a smaller it's just a smaller uh, sample size, isn't it? Mm. PS4. So obviously the, the 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 ratio of good and bad players is probably the same, but just is what it is. I don't know, Scarl. Our bad players 
sometimes even win SFL. <laughs> yeah, well, don't insult Gdanik while he's sitting in chat, man. Come on. Histoire de meublé. À quoi tu penses, Bob? Je me demande ce que je vais grailler pour me. Maybe, maybe Tom Schnitz. I'll take it. Tom Schnitz, uh, I don't believe has ever won SFL. Uh, part of the reason he has been stuck in my division since its onset. <laughs> haven't you got a game to play in SFL, Kelsey? Yeah, we haven't scheduled it yet. I'm just going to draw it out as long as possible so I can keep <laughs> the uh, dream of two two SFL wins alive as long as I possibly can. Still <laughs> basically the world cuts me down or throws me out of the league. <laughs> Ooh, big and then if I... Uh, my entire plan is to just uh, go first on offense and score and then claim that that's a win. We don't have to play the rest of the game. I <laughs> see what you did there, Skuro. <laughs> see what you did there. Rego determined to get the skink sent off. I mean, maybe make a removal. <laughs> Especially with the Apo gone as well. Yeah. Not too sure. It's rowdy. Did he foul it all on the first time they played. I didn't see their first game. I didn't see the first game either. Didn't hang on try, didn't we cast their first game? <laughs> oh yeah, we did cast their first game. He didn't foul. I was I thought I, my bad. Listen, I've cast a lot of games. I've cast a lot of games in this week. Fair enough, fair enough. I just thought I was going crazy for a moment then. I was like, what hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this, I haven't seen Regor do this at all. I'm really surprised. Yeah, he didn't foul last game. I can pull back. I remember now. And he won the first game, right, as well. It's not yeah. like he's like, okay, my strategy didn't work the first time. I need to swap strategy. Um, he's, he's changing a winning formula. I was just, just going to check to see if there'd been a bribe, but uh, it was a thrown rock, wasn't it? So there's definitely no bribe. It's... Uh... Like they could have been Maybe different. losing the apothecary is really like thrown him. He's just decided he needs to throw a bit of caution to the wind and try and take an advantage back. But I do think it's an overcompensation. Whilst that's a correct philosophy in general, I, I think it's too extreme a, a reaction. Yeah. Like different if again different if it was like the bludge guard. If he was he was, he was ha ham yeah. hammering the bludge guard every turn. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Or the rackle. Fair enough. But just this is just a random wrestle lineup. Ooh, surfs here. Surf yeah, this, is up. This isn't, this isn't great for the elves. No, uh, did he just... What happened to Dave or there? Did he just run out of time? Did he run out of time? It, was, it didn't look like he did, really. It wasn't definitely scrambling yeah. move. I actually thought my... Uh... I thought my replay had right. frozen there for, for a bit because the clock just kept winding out. Nothing was happening. <laughs> Even just giving away the free hits isn't uh, ideal. He's got to go for the surf here, hasn't he? Mighty blow on the armor seven's not bad in itself, is it? Make it three D. Come on, lad. Oh. <laughs> oh, so Devo gives up a surf and instead gets a gets a bonehead and a wrestle down. <laughs> Unbelievable. Also, the the like he could just pressure with a saurus. That's kind of stupid, but he could. <laughs> a nightmare turn. Yeah, abysmal turn for Rhaegar. <laughs> yeah, he literally lost the like attrition battle that turn, didn't he? By getting a, <laughs> by the bonehead and his guy going down. <laughs> so is he just gonna come back in and foul again? Probably, yeah. After the frustration of that turn, just stomp on mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I like to think assistant. that maybe Andy's daughter came in and like spilled a juice box all over his <laughs> keyboard, and that's why he ran out of time that game. We've all been there in some various form. <laughs> Except it was your dog spilling a juice box on you, Scarrow. Oh, 100 percent, yeah. <laughs> yes. Or more likely, me me spilling a juice box on my dogs. <laughs> or an egg. <laughs> While being attacked by bees. <laughs> <laughs> Not the bees. <laughs> wow, 
can't believe he got away with that. That's crazy. <laughs> All three get off tail. And, and, uh, and, uh, Only did he get away, from, away with it, he benefited off it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah even even getting away with it was good, but he actively, actively massively benefited. Unbelievable, Jeff. Skink's holding up nicely so far. We've seen some not break armor. We saw a rock hit one and it was only a stun and now again and they are stunty. Like they're literally more likely to go off the pitch when the armor breaks. So they're they're doing well. Yep. Seen them not get sent off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't really like that, just throwing up a skink there, but... I'll tell you what, if if he doesn't do something here, he's, the way he's placed his elves, he's left a 5-plus dodge throw on a block Saurus. If it's a 5-plus to possibly win the game, because you've always got recovery on a skink ride. What skink are we talking about here? Yeah, just that is true, the skinks are in great in position, but the one, the one nearest the middle. Yeah. It is a lot of dodging. You can always <laughs> yeah. try to pick up on the Bloxaurus as well. I think that would be more likely than that skink getting over there. Probably just continue to play defense here, because even though that happened, yeah. it still is a decent spot to stop. Ooh. Oh. Now I'll foul him dark. every turn. No, I think there's no more fouls now, is there? Do you go for the surf here? It leaves you, leaves you a bit guy over there, but... Like it leaves you three players on that side, but um, you can do it with blocks and then like blitz the skink back cent, blitz the crocs back central or something. You would have made the dodge just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do the surf? Would you do the surf try? Yeah, I might do the surf. Not sure. It's hard to like. It's hard to decide without. I mean, you could take the power, couldn't you? I think you just if you roll the power, you take the power. Yeah. With one reroll, it's kind of scary to do the skink box, I guess. I don't do the surf personally. Yeah, just leave stuff a little bit too out of position. I don't really know what he's accomplishing here. Oh, he, I, I guess he's got tackle, but like, yeah. I don't. These two Sauruses aren't really doing a whole lot right now. But that, that block was a bit rubbish and didn't do anything either, did it? You know. So I think mm -hmm. go the go the block the other way, and then yeah, I mean, well, I would I would have eaten the double skulls earlier anyway, personally. I, so I just don't I quite like the position in here. Getting the skink back, the Saurus can move over as well, and. I think he's got the elves quite nicely tied up here. They've got some dice to roll. To dodge the skink out. Dodge both skinks out, I think. Yeah. Go for the foul here. <laughs> it seems that way. That or he's just pinning him. This is a. This is. There you go, Jim. God, no, you want like to foul. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Oh! There you go. Oh! Oh, okay. Apple works. <laughs> that's like if you're gonna foul anybody, that's the one you foul, isn't it? Like one of the one of the two, like one of the uh, four good players, five good players. It's just a random alignment for Davo. Hmm. And what you needed here was a cheeky Gadernik DP Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I didn't really, I really hate that foul by the way, because if he just dodged out the skins and like screened with them, <laughs> instead he's just given, you know, three two pluses out. Another skink stun? I, I'd be slightly like, what do I have to do to get rid of one of these skinks here? <laughs> He's only blocked them three times. Um, 
Well, it's been no. three armor breaks. There has been another hit where another two were armor break, break, I think, and the three fouls, like Tri pointed out. Um, it's been quite a lot of times we could have got rid of a skin. Oh yeah, I might. I would probably be annoyed that he hadn't gotten sent off. Yeah. I wouldn't be annoyed that I hadn't cast a skink. Yeah, absolutely. Hundred percent. He's hit three. Well, he's hit three. He's knocked him over every time. He's made two stuns, one Noia V break, and then the rock stunned one as well. Yeah, I was including the rock to be fair. So really, he's been lucky to break A V two times out of three. <laughs> Balanced by being slightly unlucky, uh, stunning them both, or stunning all three. Well, it's not going to be much to stop this score. Yeah, uh, I really hated. I really hated the uh, this foul, even though it was a Kaz, because th those skinks were holding the middle, weren't they? And and that's why I like blocking. That's why I like go kind of going for the serve because if you get the power from the skink, then that lets you move those two guys back because you blocked with a Saurus. You didn't really. Do anything with the other two skins? Well, don't worry. He's got a scoring threat, Jim. No oh, man. This is just a player down for him. Yep, this is a canoring threat. This is the absolute <laughs> worst thing you can get. <laughs> it's got a lot of 2Ds, though, and uh, the apo has gone now, so we could see the elves start to go down then this turn. You're a, you're a more optimistic fellow than me, <laughs> Rick. <laughs> He's off to a good start with that double push blitz. Yep. Yeah, this is just a... Could, a could do with a piling on Blitz Rider, to be fair. <laughs> Again, I don't feel like this has been masterful offense from Devo. I just feel it's been bad defense from Rego. I think it was bad defense from Lifestyle last game. I don't think... Although Rego will have been... Uh, Lifestyle will have been gutted to have, to have made that... Uh, <laughs> run out of time that turn. I don't feel like he... He, you know, I don't think he deserved in any way to have won. You know, I feel his defensive play was poor. And I feel like Rekko hasn't really done anything on defense either, has he? He hasn't, you know, he hasn't pushed anything, has he? He hasn't, I don't know. <laughs> he ran his well, a little tiny something if it stays out. Oh, hello. Oh, he had the, uh, the cage dive there. <laughs> yeah, he could, he could have gone for the six on the on the block tackle if he'd wanted to to, uh, <laughs> to get two dice on the ball. He needed that to have any kind of thing stopping him, didn't he? Because that was just an <laughs> I instant. I don't think it's too easy. I'd rather have just seen a two dice on the uh, on the wrestle lineman. I think, but yeah, that that defense was horrible. That was just a straight up two D. Any result <laughs> that isn't a that anything but a quad skull to score is what it was. <laughs> That's what that defense was. Anything but a quad skull. But now, after all those, after all those dodges and GFIs, he actually has managed to make a defense somehow. It's not great. You can put the guard in the middle of the two source. The wrestle lineman that he's now moving can blitz the source in front of the catcher. Yeah. And then that sets up a two D on the source behind. He's going another route that's probably nearly as good. This route might involve a dodge past that skink. Yeah, but won't dodge this is a little there. riskier because there uh, is yeah. dodge. Right? Trying to find a way without dodging because uh, you can't always. Uh, now ooh. that's really interesting, though. Yeah. Because now that makes him have to have several dodges to get it. Made a, this uh, yeah. terrible way defense hard. into a <laughs> into a pretty good defense. Yeah. Yeah. You can just one D the Saurus. With yeah, the he's just gonna guy. step like, in and one D now, yeah. surely. Yeah. Still yeah. really yeah. easy. He I, yeah, he just had to two dice that wrestle. I lineman. guess if he gets the both down again, though, then <laughs> he does yeah, a both down. Yeah. Oh. Has to re -roll it. <laughs> he does. He doesn't re-roll it. Oh, oh, actually, now it's only a three plus. Just runs out. No, and then he runs out. <laughs> time. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> just click the end zone. Oh, no. right. What a defense you need to by Regor. Now, pay homage. Pay homage to the defense. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to pay yeah. homage to an event, a defense that requires a. a, a, yeah. a <laughs> that requires your opponent your to run out of time. Your yeah, 4D yeah. chest, Jim. <laughs> oh, then he passes it. it. <laughs> He's 
got the scoring threat. And he's got the scoring threat, yep. And he's got a skin right there. Oh my god. This might be the biggest throw we've ever seen in in Blitzbit final history. And we just and we just watched a pretty massive throw on a timeout in the last game too. These have been some stellar defenses. Oh my gosh. Apologies to Regor from the entire commentary team for mocking your score threat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He gets to 3D with this, with this... Oh no, he doesn't. I hold up my hands. And he shake it, he is gonna... Oh, I play on Xbox! Oh no! no. Oh, oh, tragedy. <laughs> tragedy <laughs> strikes. Still, that Kaz is huge on the counter, right? It is, yeah. It really is, yeah. Massive favorites now, men up onto their drive. Oh, oh, oh. That's his one turn, that's his one turner. You know, that's his best shot at a one turn uh, yeah. on turn 16. Yeah, you're right, it was. Yeah, man. He almost certainly loses. <laughs> Far in some insanity. Yeah. Well, if he can force an early score, he can still come back. But uh, well, How's he going to force ooh. an early score with this few elves? Well, I think, I think stranger things have happened. I mean, first of all, he can just one in nine the pickup and then be under all sorts of trouble. Yeah, he can, yeah. He can set up badly also, against I didn't, the blitz uh, yeah. and get blitzed on. You know, there's lots of things. You hope happen. he sets up well and defends against all that. You would think he would, but stranger things have happened. He could just do nothing for 45 seconds and then lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting strategy, Cotton. Let's, <laughs> let's, see. Let's, see how it, let's see if it pays off. <laughs> Rigor with the classic, just, just hope your opponent disconnects and I've won the drive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it required the, the dodge and the double GFI, otherwise it was, it was just literally a 2D block, wasn't it? And anything gets you through. Woo. Unbelievable, Jeff. It is, yeah, yeah, someone oh, said about saving setups before the before the tournament, I thought that was a good idea. Oh, there's the Blitz. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> he, set up, he set up really well for it, though, Yeah, he so. did. Yeah. Yep. It's not too shallow, yeah. The tackler can still be based. He though. can still get under it with yeah. a catcher as well. Yeah. Could be a well, disaster. Tails, Eddie, in fairness to Davo on that one, uh, yeah, there were some mistakes going around on both sides on the defense and his, uh, his response. But again, one minute turns. We've all we've yeah. all had to we've all had to go through that at some point, and every single one of us have, has run out of time on a two minute, let alone three minute game at, at one point in our careers. Well, most of us have, yes. Um. <laughs> Jim, I've seen you run out of time in a two minute game um, and a three minute game, probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've run out of time. Maybe it's to maybe it's just when I wasn't going to do anything, and I just let the time run out. I have done that but never when I've wanted to do something. <laughs> but, you know, it is it is hard as Niblitz Pit. Like, you know, everyone... This is this is not a screen, is it? So he does get the dodge through. Maybe he should have been one in. Oh, my God, he's double... Is he double one bit? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, oh, wait, did I foul? say that was beautiful? Oh, I'm not biased at all. Um, time <laughs> to foul. <laughs> um... Yeah, so you know, like, it, yeah, Blitzbit is brutal. Like, the playing all the games in the row is brutal. The minute turns, you know, against top quality opposition is brutal. So, like, you know, not really banging anyone. But all, all of the, all of the decisions that are like criticised are just like, you know, it's not really saying this guy's terrible or anything. Is it? It's just, uh, just you know, offering. Was it you, insight. Jimmy, who earlier referenced getting a blitz and having it baiting you into getting your guys banged on? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> this might be what happens. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. or maybe not. Oh, it's a reroll burn. Like that is one way you oh. have to reroll, and now the pickup fail is a bit scary, isn't it? Yeah, but probably take general, the. Like... I think you take the block, and then you bring the Crocs in to try and sure up the. Yes, absolutely. It, it is another route for the elves back into this, as bad as it looks. Like the lizards are down to one reroll now for all of this half and overtime. Um, mm. Yeah, they, they could fail enough dice, but the elves still get something. Yeah. I like the blitz as well to get him back as well as the crocs. 
Yeah, he wasn't blitzing anything else, so may as well. Yep. Probably... Do you tag the guy with the crocs, or do you put the crocs near the ball? I guess tag... Mm. Maybe you don't even move him now, I'm not sure. Mm. Activating he... them opens a massive hole now. Yep. Yeah, that was the bad part about the blitz. Maybe you should have blitzed the last one. Yeah, I think he blitzed with the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's still screened. It's still screened. Where's that ball going, huh? Not there. Yeah, it's, it's all of a sudden, it's... It's it's uh, it's really scary for now that gap as well. open is big. Yep. Yep, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, we we could see the ball on Blodge at the end of this turn and the tackle piece marked <laughs> off. <laughs> Dave O burning rerolls now, maybe. Yep, yep. he's gotta. Oh did Double he gain pass. a reroll though? He gained a reroll. Oh no no no. Yeah. No, it's it was a it was dodge that failed, wasn't it? On the, uh... Oh yeah, it was a yeah, new half. Because he had a blitz. Yeah, and get her. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 baby! Oh, baby! Yep, I think I think the crocs near the ball was uh was better. <laughs> yeah, I I think I agree with you. <laughs> Yeah. I'd, Does he pun? I even I actually even think not activating him was correct at that point. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'd yeah. be passing to the the blitzer and marking up this this tackle Saurus like he has done, but yeah, this is I, pretty I straightforward for him. I agree on that. I thought for sure the ball was going to. Him. Yeah, I agree. I thought for sure that ball would go to the uh, the blitzer with somewhat of a cage around him. Almost. This is just nothing. It's just yeah, a yeah. hope he doesn't knock me down. Yeah, yeah, he should have just gone next to him and handed it off to him, shouldn't he? Yeah. And Didn't if you're even... going to do that, why not just have it on Blodge instead of not Blodge? He can make this yeah. three dice and still have a skink free to recover. Yeah, I don't think he will. <laughs> he has shown an allergy to three dice blocks. No, well, maybe not. Maybe not. The good thing is he's got skinks around the ball, like whatever happens now, hasn't he? Going to move the crocs in as well. Can you first save me first? Gets the foul. Well, both down, right? Both yeah, down. take the yeah, down. down. Better scatter. <laughs> well, possible scatter. Yep. yep. Skink can still get through though. The problem is now going to be protection. Yeah, Crocs. Yeah. And you the really don't want to have to put the reroll in. You obviously do, but uh, yeah, he, he desperately wants to succeed this pickup first time. Yeah. If I get the ball in my hand, I'm okay with going to zero rerolls here, but... <laughs> yeah. Ball in the hand is key. He has to bl block this wrestler, doesn't he? Can get the other guy around before he fails the pickup. Um, I don't know. I think he can just leave him there. I don't leave like the, the uh, don't tackle like Saurus there. Yeah, but I don't like this other guy who's got the two plus out, hasn't he? Oh no! Oh, he can't. Oh, he does re-roll it. Yeah, he has to. Oh yeah. my! Oh, oh, good scatter. Good scatter, but. Dangerous uh, scatter opportunities. Yeah. Yep. And the the catches are both unstunned now. Yeah. In fact, he's got he's got about five elves he can pick up and reposition. Yeah, this is the thing. See, both of these elves have got two plus dodge outs. Where if he'd made the block tackler, if he punched him, and then he'd moved the other guy, and neither one would have had two plus dodge outs. Yep, hey, Dev, the sure hand skink that I had, crucial in this <laughs> match, but would would have been great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is the way back, isn't it? For Dave or really a blitz and two yep. failed pickups. Doesn't get the knockdown at least. And close to the scatter. Oh. Oh. Again he's got another one, one more chance. Yeah, he yeah. does have another one, yeah. But it's not gonna get any better off of those That's scatters. the guy who wanted to pick it up though, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think mm. he just knocked him what down. What a choice. I think he'll just knock him down and move people around for the next turn. No, uh, he's 
push in. Yeah. I, I think I prefer this. Yeah, because he oh. Oh. Like. So That wasn't crazy, was it? That was not a crazy result. Yeah. Yeah. It was the only 4 plus catch he had on the scatterable squares, though. Yeah, but I mean, it could have scattered to multiple squares, couldn't it? Could have been in the Crocs' tackle zone, it could have been in. Oh, yeah, there were plenty of places on the floor, it was pretty darn safe. It could have caught yeah. it on a six pretty easily, multiple chances to catch it on a six. I think it was just a bit of a tease, because it, if it went through him, it, there, there were some incredibly good squares, right? Yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, here we go, no re rolls. He's got to uh, he's got to play as well as he can now, hasn't he? Here I go. Every two D, a, a three percenter now, to turn him over. Yeah, and maybe lose the game for it. Push him up, don't you? Yeah. Prox on two people. No activating the prox now, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Wherever you're gonna put your cage or make this a three dice. No, you can't because of the guard. The guard so yeah. just go wherever you're putting your cage. He doesn't even move him. Maybe he's just keeping staying here. Yeah. I don't hate staying here. In terms of like moving. Yeah. Moving to the left a little bit. Oh, that guard's actually kind of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yeah, now this this rackles over here, and it's like, how do you get the? You have to. Maybe you have to. I don't know if you have to activate the Crocs or not, because yeah, you might have to, to just to move. Just to guard. change the situation. Yeah. Oh boy. He's just gonna stay in between the guards. Scary. Very scary. Run out of time. But <laughs> that might have not been a real run out of time, more of just you know, looks good enough. Yeah. Oh, it's not great having the Rackle piece able to get round for a one day, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. It's really not, but what can you do? No rerolls, there was no there's no two Ds. It was a bunch Did of. Move one left and dodge the skink to the other back left corner. Do dodging that is horrible as well, isn't it? If that dodge fails, you just lose basically. <coughs> I think it's horrible, isn't it? It was a horrible turn. Yeah. yeah like, it was a horrible situation. I think it's... Sorry. Oh. So I think his end down, goal had know. to be a cage where we're talking about the like to the left and dodge the skink. 2D and a chain now with Rackle. I, I quite like that. It obviously didn't work out great because he's had to use a reroll already, but uh, yeah, I think it was the right Set up a really nice time. Yeah, I think it was the right play. All right, so he's done that hit. I don't like that as much because getting the guard in already made it. Maybe this makes it not a J fighter hit. Especially after yeah, the rerolls. Yeah. yeah, it does. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's that. That's. <laughs> It's a one in nine, but it saves the one in six. So. Gets him down. He's got him. He's got two GFIs left, hasn't he, as well? So he could still score. Could score. Oh, and the Kaz. Oh, there you go. He's made four blocks and skinks and Kaz. Oh, but that scatter again. <laughs> Still a disaster for Rigor to have to pick the ball up again with no reroll. Yep. And yep. take a ton of blocks. Well, he could go for the scatter here, couldn't he? Um, he, could, he? I think he goes for the scatter here. It's only a 2D without block, but then, you know, he, he might catch it on a skink, might he? At least um, you forced. Would you? Um, yeah. yeah the, other than that, you forced the pickup, which is pretty great, isn't it? As, for the I old. would step the Saurus in and make it to where that was a chain push to push the guard back. Okay. Try and free up more guys. Well, I would have won in nine. <laughs> <laughs> and felt really bad. <laughs> 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 I 
can three dice the uh, guarder, can't he now? That's pretty nice. Like not with the crocs, with the uh, with the non-block <laughs> Saurus, and then he can make a full cage, can't he? I don't know, it's risky. Everything's risky at this point. It's just a nightmare, isn't it? Even with these few elves, they can all just roll some dice and score. I think if you can, you want to not have to activate the crocs, don't you? Oh, he's he's got up. the ball, though. But this Rocco can still just steam in, can't he? Especially if he commits a Gonna re dodge out to Venga Bus it. Maybe, maybe he'll do the, uh, oh, the crocs. The croc, the croc, the hit, but it wasn't three dice. Oh, he hit the other one. With that hit angle now, if he does take the three dice, he yeah, needs a foul. Yeah, yeah, I, didn't hate, I hated the push direction. Greed. Oh, <laughs> no tail on him. I think he's got to go. No, he's got to. He had to go. He had to go with a screen, didn't he? He had to go with a screen to stop this two plus out. And and stop the other wrestle. I think he had to screen that. Go where he is. Personally, no. Yeah, you, you are. Uh, one further up is nicer, but at least he stopped the four plus cage dive. Not even one further up. Like two, two forward and two to the right, so that he would be screening with the uh, Saurus there, so that he wouldn't have the two plus dodge out for the uh, Blitzer. Well, I know it's hard to imagine Rigor scoring, but Lizards are so fast it just takes Andy <laughs> over committing a little here. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, they're so ridiculously fast. If Andy screws something up here, he can just fly down the pitch. He's going for the 5 plus. Wait, no, it's only a 1D, isn't it? I don't think. <laughs> oh, oh, two oh, shit. Oh, oh. You got him. See, look, that, 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 that skink doing nothing. And now he's got a 2 plus yeah. touch on it. It's weird that he didn't. 4 plus here. Make it an actual thing. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. got it. <laughs> Can't feel sorry for him. him. Just like last time. Don't run out really. of. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. Very, very well done, Andy. Wow. <laughs> That's a big exhale for Andy on that one, I think. Yeah. Oh! There are elves! Oh, what a costly mistake. Yeah, yeah I did not like that. I mean, the, first of all, the block from the other one made that he shouldn't have activated the crocs at all. And then second of all, I would have put the uh, the skink in the way. Except for nowhere. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> I think you got to give Davo a little bit of credit here, chat. Yeah. I think you guys are being a little harsh on him on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's. I think that's on. I think that's on Regor for not defending it as well as he could have done. Yeah. Like obviously yeah. he was unlucky. Like he did get blitzed on, and then you know he failed three pickup rolls in a row. So like that's pretty horrible. So like, you know like whatever, whichever way you slice it, it was it was really unlucky for Regor, but I still think he could have played it better to get out of it. But it wasn't click elf, click ball, click end zone. It was click elf, click ball, ball bounces to the best square three turns in a row. <laughs> then click elf zone. I mean, he has to path it out to capitalize on <laughs> Rigor's mistake, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of coaches, I guarantee you, wouldn't even have noticed that that was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. true. And, and to be fair, yes, he timed out when he shouldn't have turn eight, but it was only because he had trash dice against a not great defense, right? He, yes. he should have, most of the time, rolled much better than that, got a gap through and, and scored in turn eight. Yeah, I mean, Reg Regal's defense was pretty horrid, I thought, all half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Divo got an extra reroll just then, didn't he have to kick off? Yeah, pretty big, pretty big 2-0 on the rerolls. 
charge sur ce pauvre joueur comme des half fling autour d'un sandwich Actually, because Rigor is just playing to get to overtime now anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and the double scores, yeah, the double scores, but I mean, again, like... That, you know, it's just bad luck. <laughs> but the, the double scores in the first half, I think he could have beaten. I didn't like Regal's defense in general. Oh, yeah. But that was certainly very lucky from Devo. Devo should have, by all rights, been out, out of Regal's too. And instead has two. <laughs> like that was a four plus four plus two D, wasn't it? Uh, he, he, you know, and the pick up and everything. And he's still in it, Regor, isn't he? It's not as bad as uh, it's not as bad as Kemri being two nil down this spot. The zero rerolls is is horrifying though. You've always got the skink chance to score here, haven't you? It's it's pretty hard to stop the elves from uh, doing their screen thing against you with only a few turns and only being one player up. But uh, at least with a skink, you can always just literally click skink, click end zone. Yeah, he hasn't got to get very far into the opposing half, has he? No. Um, this is very aggro, isn't it? All men's basing up with getting those kills, but and obviously no rerolls means that. Every dice roll is pretty scary now. There's a 3D here though from the uh, Wopplosaurus, isn't there? Quite like he has that. enough skinks to run them down and protect the ball without even being able needing to move the sources. Plus he can blitz one free anyway. Yeah. Okay, went that way. Oh, that's pretty nice, isn't it? I think our moves would have uh, pushed the crocs, but that's that's a nice. Uh, I like that's a lot of players free, isn't it, to move down the side now. The scores, like getting into overtime, is not unlikely at all. Yeah, it's just the no rerolls just means you've got zero yeah. absolute zero confidence, isn't it, in in your ability to do anything basically. Well, certainly for me, that's what I feel like. Once, uh, yeah, for once, sure. Once my rerolls are gone, I feel like my pants are down. <laughs> it's a bit scary now. Yeah. If the elves were prepared to put in their rerolls and go for something here, they'd actually be quite them. likely to stop it. But because they're going to want to save rerolls, it actually increases the lizard's opportunity of getting to overtime, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> These are pretty bad dice, but it doesn't matter. He didn't need good dice, did he? As long as he didn't turn over, he's, he's in the half, he's, he can click on the end zone next turn. <laughs> there might be some to move elves around. Yeah. And they're stupid, no. <laughs> Not even moving elves now. What the hell? <laughs> Indeed, Shattered Ice, yeah, this is, didn't really want this to be going OT after this is a successful defence, but, I mean, I don't think Regor deserves the successful defence. <laughs> you know, with all due respect, I thought it was a really... Yes. It was Some a people are complaining about the dice a lot, but honestly, 
Rigor, you have to. If someone capitalizes on you playing perfectly, that's one thing to complain about. But Rigor left it on. Yeah. So yeah. you can't really complain about someone rolling well when you left them that play. Yeah. And I mean, he's got he's left on this chain and everything, hasn't he? He should have taken a wrestle last turn, I think. But instead, he didn't. This is pretty nice. Like, you can't expect Dave to not see these players, can you? Like, he... Fifty-fifty. <laughs> yep, if you got the power there, it would have been in for the two. Two, 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 two. Still double J fine score, can't he? Like, not that he really wants to. So he not that he really wants to leave Devo two turn, but at least the option's there if he has to. Potential for overtime. Would you have been tempted to reroll that? No. No, I wouldn't. Not one D, two D. Yes. If it had been a two D, I would have, I would have rerolled it. But I think the one D. Not that I'm saying it's right, that could well be the wrong decision. Like, that's the thing, nobody really knows, do they? Whether it would be right or not to reroll it. Yeah, I'm not sure. The, the fact that Rigor has no rerolls makes it somewhat tempting. Yeah. But yeah. You can you can free up the Saurus here, can't you? Yep. And then you can block that other guy without block, which is terrifying. And then you can get the. Uh... He's going to have to remove a. First, but he can run around and blitz the uh, the Rackler and then move down with two other skins to screen. If he does succeed, that's a massive KO. Uh, he could blitz the Wrestle as well to chain one of the linemen out and free up the guard source. Mm, yeah, yeah, he could just go through the middle. Yeah, he could just go through the middle here, couldn't he? Actually, I was thinking of going down yeah. the sideline, he could just go through the middle. The uh, lizards are fast, turns out. <laughs> 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 Doesn't go for the chain, but yeah, he's crazy, I guess, isn't he? I guess that was a lower risky against Russell. Maybe one of nines, and then his whole defense is fucked. Yeah, yeah, I don't like going for anyone in nine. Anyone in nine. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Yeah, freeze up his Croxy. Croxy Blitz? Croxy Bonehead? Nope. <laughs> Not a Blitz. I like, the blitz there. I like the Blitz on the Wrestler because the push here is a bit shit, isn't it? Oh, he's going to Blitz with him and get him. I guess he just yeah, doesn't like Yeah, he had to do that. KO. I forgot this, this guy was here. <laughs> oh. I also like it because it's a guaranteed thing, whereas the Crocs wasn't. Yeah, yeah. He, I just, he can't hit now, can he? He can't hit here with this guy. Ooh, Ooh, three plus dodge. I wouldn't Maybe be, you hit I the, be... do you hit the wrestle? He could, potentially, I guess. Yeah, I, I like not hitting the wrestle, to be honest. Um, oh, yeah, because... Yeah, because then you push yeah. him there and it's... You can follow him to guard, but still, like, there's probably a push that David will see to push him in. Yep. He's getting pushed anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That was Putting the Saurus in that square was yeah. terrible. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that was. It was a nice blitz from the Saurus, but putting him there, not so nice. Uh, the the only problem for the elves is that there's two guard on the wrestle lineman. Yeah, it's just a three plus dodge from his own guard, though, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> no pal. He's up. Wow! Oh, the oh, that's that's that one. That's rotten. <laughs> it, it was a five plus for good game, basically. So I can I I can understand it. <laughs> oh, one and he three. did reroll the one D from the rackle, but he he rerolls it on the rest. Yeah, that's what that's my thought process. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he catches it on the rackler. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> 
The skink can score. The skink on the ground that's can not... score. Oh, actually, and and these yeah, backs three skinks can, can one score. Yeah. yeah, that's not the worst case scenario for no, Rigor is having the ball stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. The furthest back skin can't score. Yeah. Uh, first, but yeah, all, all three yeah, skins can. can score. All three skins can score. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm looking at the. You're right. Yeah. I, yeah, his pathing is fucked by everyone in the way, pathing. but he yeah. can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lizard men have passed. The, the rush <laughs> actually, to pro depending on the scatter, to probably be be okay. Get some. And then he can the other hit. hopefully oh, clear it. Oh, oh god. This is a disastrous scatter. Oh yeah. my yeah, god. Yeah, I, 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 I preferred hitting the other way anyway. Yeah, it's pretty nice tackle, though. Do you not think that was a bad push? A bad block? Do you, would, you not, do, would you not block with the other Saurus? I thought that's why he cleared the guard, so that he could hit with that Saurus. Has to free this tackle. Last exactly, chance yeah, here. That's, that's what I saw. He still has his blitz, girl. He can free yeah, the tackle yeah, and hit yeah. him with that. Yeah. He needs to make a path. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it just comes loops around. Yeah. Yeah, this is the free this, get this push, and then one more shot. Yep. Could have done a safe move with the uh, this Randosaurus just chilling out. There he goes. Finally gets him on the ground. Watch so the ball's gonna scatter directly into yeah. that Saurus, and he's gonna catch it. it doesn't follow. Yeah. Well <laughs> I hope it goes up. Oh, the other one though. No, it does. Nice. No. Oh, he's got it. He's got a shot. You could move the Saurus and block the wrestle. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you can two dice the wrestle off. And clear for less dodges. Yeah. Is it? Two dodges yeah, it's within. Two dodges less. Not horrible. No, he could have just done it with the down guy. Which is two dodges. Yeah, that's what I was oh, thinking. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah that you're is right. True. It's exactly the same. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just so if anything, he added dice rolls. Yeah, yeah he added yeah, dice. Nice that would have worked for the dodges as well. Fails the first dodge. That's it. Congratulations, Andy. Yeah, absolutely. What a big win in the grand final for Andy Davo with his high elves. 550 US dollars better off. Yep. Wow, no one, no one on the call on that one. Well, <laughs> this has been a long fought game by everyone in this tournament. Andy Davo coming away. He had to go through the hard way at the very end, but uh, didn't have to do the marathon because he had a good run in the winner's bracket, able to win his way back out of the loser's bracket and into this grand final. And boy, was it looking dismal at the start of this half. He got the blitz, and he persisted, and he eventually got the Miracle TD. And here we are, folks, your Blitz Pit winner, Andy Davo. Commiserations to Regor. A nice, uh, you know, nice second-place run for him. He won't feel too bad about getting that, uh, that little payout as well. But that is going to be the it for the Blitz Pit tournament. I'm sure we're going to hear from G'day, Nick, uh, before, uh, before this stream is done. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, in the booth. For that yes thank you very much everybody and yeah congrats to Devo I think he I think he definitely played better in the uh, two games that I saw him play uh, so there you go uh, and commiserations to Rego but great effort from him um, you know he is an Xbox coach so this is probably <laughs> no sorry I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> um, <laughs> right so yeah, I guess should, uh, is is Gaden it gonna come on or not? I don't know. Should I end the YouTube video? Um, I don't know what to do. I'll end the YouTube video and then maybe maybe edit it in if he does come in. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.